Can I welcome everyone to the fifth meeting in 2019 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform uh, Committee. Uh, the first item of business is consideration of an SSI laid under the European Union Withdrawal Act. Uh, we're considering this instrument in terms of the SSI protocol uh, and we're looking at the scrutiny procedure under which it's been laid and the categorisation applied to it by the Scottish Government. Um, and we'll look at the technical aspects of the instruments at uh, another meeting. Um, it's the Draft Jurisdiction and Judgments Family Civil Partnership and Marriage Same-Sex Couples EU Exit Scotland Amendment Regulations 2019. It's been laid under the affirmative procedure. Um, it relates to uh, f family law and uh, concerns cross-border family cases. Uh, it provides EU rules on which member states court should have authority to resolve a dispute. The instrument's been categorised by the Scottish Government as of medium significance. Our advisers indicate the scrutiny procedure is appropriate. Uh, they also say that its categorisation is also appropriate, uh, given it has significant implications for people involved in cross-EU border family law disputes. Uh, any comments from members on that? Convener, just um, briefly, I wonder if it would be possible to get some um, clarity around custody disputes for um, individuals who live in, in different countries. I, I would like to be sure that there would be no unintended consequences of, of this legislation to ensure that, that the, the process is mirrored across um, both countries. Okay, thanks for that. Anyone else? No. Um, I think that's a very good uh, point, Mary. Um, I think it's something we could flag up to the lead committee, if you're content with that. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thanks for raising it. Um, is the committee content the appropriate scrutiny procedure has been applied to the instrument? Connect. And is the committee content the instrument is categorised uh, as of medium significance? Content. Mm -hmm. Okie doke. Uh, agenda item two is considering consideration of another instrument laid under the European Union Withdrawal Act uh, and it's the draft Inspire EU Exit Scotland Amendment Regulations 2019. Uh, this has been laid under the affirmative procedure. Uh, it's been categorised as of low significance and our advisers have not raised any issues with this categorisation. Any comments from members on that one? So is the committee content the instruments uh, categorised as of low significance? Content. Okay. Uh, next item, uh, consideration of instruments subject to affirmative procedure. And the first instrument is the same one we've just considered under the SSI protocol. Uh, we're now considering the technical aspects to ensure it's fit for purpose. Uh, no points have been raised by our advisers, but members may wish to note the instrument was withdrawn and relayed following questions raised in advance of the instrument appearing on our agenda. Any comments on that? No. Is the committee content with this instrument? Content. Okay. Uh, the next instrument is the draft public procurement etc. Scotland Amendment EU Exit Regulations 2019. Uh, we considered this um, under the SSI protocol last week. The government withdrew and relayed the instrument and also accepted our recommendation that it be recategorised from medium to high significance. So today we're looking at the te technical aspects of the instrument to ensure it's fit for purpose. Our advisers have not raised any points, but do members have any comments on that? I've got Stuart. Good yeah. one, Camina. Thank you, Convener. Uh, just in the, in the final sentence of the final paragraph, I'd uh, be grateful for uh, some further clarification on, on uh, what this is intended to mean. Uh, so on reading, it does look as if that uh, a company uh, that uh, could have been uh, convicted of a, of a financial crime uh, against the EU uh, would be allowed uh, to actually bid uh, for work. Uh, uh, as uh, as is uh, suggested here. So I would be grateful for some further uh, clarification on that, please. Yeah, OK. Um, so I completely agree with that. I think we do need some clarity, so we'll, we'll, we'll seek that when we issue our report. Um, other than that, is the committee content with the instrument? Content. content. OK. 
Uh, the next four draft affirmative instruments cover a variety of topics. Um, we've got the Community Care, Personal Care and Nursing Care Scotland Amendment Regulations 2019, the National Bus Travel Concession Scheme for Older and Disabled Persons Scotland Amendment Order 2019, the Continuing Care Scotland Amendment Order 2019 and the Asset Transfer <coughs> Request Designation of Rele Relevant Authority Scotland Order 2019. And no points have been raised on any of these by our legal advisers. Is the committee content with these instruments? Okay. And the final item of business this morning is consideration of instruments subject to the negative procedure. Uh, the first of these is the Zoo Technical Standards Scotland Regulations 2019 SSI 2019 5. These regulations fail to follow proper drafting practice. Regulations 3 and 6 contain provisions that are already directly legally applicable by virtue <coughs> of the content of the EU Animal Breeding Regulation. So, does the committee wish to draw the regulations to the attention of the Parliament on the general reporting ground? in respect of failure to follow dra proper drafting practice. Agreed. Okay. Uh, our legal advisers have not raised any points on the remaining instruments. That's SSIs 2019, 12 and 13. Is the committee content with these? Content. I'll close the meeting. <laughs>